Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to change or spoof your MAC address. Now I'm going to show you three ways how to do this. I'm going to be using a piece of software. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to tweak the registry to change the, your MAC address and also we're going to show you how to do it uh, in network connections. Spoof in network connections. So let's get started anyway. So let's go start control panel and network connections once you're in here we're going to go to local area connection now this will work in Vista and XP and then uh, I'm going to come down and go to configure and that's uh, the name of our network card so keep that in mind so we need to come into advanced and network address now I need to click inside here the value and this is where we're going to add our new MAC address. Now if you've got a router and you're using MAC filtering you need to make sure that you enter this into your MAC filtering. And if you have got MAC filtering and you're not using it you should be using it if you especially if you've got a wireless network because it stops people from getting into your network if they're not got their MAC address in your list. So there we have that and that will be obviously added to your MAC filtering on your router if you're using that. Okay, so click OK, and that's our new MAC address. You can see it disabled and then enabled, and now we've got the internet. Okay, you may need to reboot the PC at, at that stage, but I think that should be okay. So that's how you do the network connections one. So let me just uh, right click properties. I'm going to take that out and show you how to do it in the registry now. Okay, so let me just take this back out. And if you want to get rid of it at any stage, let's go back to network address and go not present. Okay, click OK, and you'll see it change again. Job done. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is going to the registry and do it inside the registry. So I'm going to go into run, reg edit, type reg edit in there, click OK. And inside here, you need to go system, count control set, control, and then class. And in there, you need to be looking for 4D3E, uh, sorry, 4D. 36E972. That's the one you need to look for. Okay. That'll only be that one number there. Click on the plus sign and come down. Now you need to go through all of the, all of these until you find your network card name in here. Okay. So we're just going to keep flicking through until I see what I need to see, which there it is. I need to drive a description. That's what you need. Make sure you've got that and your network card. Right click in the pane on the right. String value. Now you need to type in here network, like so. Address, all one word. A capital A and a capital N. Now double click on that and we need to now add a new, a new, um, MAC address inside there. Okay, I'm going to use the same one as before. But yeah, there we go. Okay, so click OK now, and that's our new MAC address. Okay, so you need to refresh that. And also, again, if I go to this, you don't need to do this, I'm just doing that for this uh, tutorial. If I just uh, disable that and then re enable it, it should give us the internet. Okay, there we go. Now, if I show you the MAC address now inside IP config, so I need to go CMD, open it up, so IP config space forward slash all, and you should see um, the MAC address that we've just entered in there. Okay, that's the MAC address, that's the new one. Again, just make sure that you have, if you're using MAC address filtering, yeah, you just put that in there, otherwise you will not connect, okay? So, 
that's that one now if you don't want to do all that and that looks a little bit too much too daunting you don't want to go in the registry and stuff there is another option you can actually use pieces of software now this is a great piece of software I've been using it for many a year um, but it's quite good and this is basically so simple you just need to but I'm not going to show you how to do it on, on there because obviously the time but basically you can see the spoofed MAC address there so you just need to change it and basically you can just change a couple of digits you don't have to change the whole lot just change the odd digit like like as you can see here just change the odd digit okay and then update MAC address and away you go right so as you can see that's the MAC address there you can see what they've done spoofed MAC address they just add enter it in there okay and then update and it's job done that's one bit of software I'm not sure if that's free uh, free that one this piece is free you can actually get this one uh, from this site this is a freeware piece of software and it is a MAC address changer it looks a little bit more in depth really but I think it's just the same sort of a uh, thing really you just do change MAC address a little box will pop up and you just put your MAC address that you want in there and then that's it you save it apply uh, you may need to use the uh, renew and release IP just to refresh it and then away you go you're good to go okay so anyway my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk I hope this uh, video has been some use to you if it is and you like my videos subscribe to my channel show your support and uh, also uh, rate for my videos got any questions leave a comment up there or send me a message I'll do my best to answer it give me a bit of time to answer it because I'm getting quite a few emails and it takes a bit of time to get around to them all Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.